Hello. Well, happy Sunday. The weather forecast has just been on the usual garble. It's going to be brightening up and a bit uh, warmer by the end of the week. Quite mad, but freezing on Wednesday and Thursday night. I thought, hang on, hang on. Is it going to freeze? Is it going to be mild? Make your bloody mind up. Hopefully we won't be getting taxis. Got a taxi twice last week. I'm going to get my bike out. Then at five to five in the morning, started snowing, steaming up. Uh, it was on Tuesday, and then again Thursday. Bloody hailstorm! Going to get my bike out, and then because this is a plastic roof, shower of hailstones. So I got a taxi then, nine pound each way. <sighs> Plus I was a bit achy on Thursday because I've had a fall at work. <laughs> I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna strip off and show you, but uh, so it's a purple and yellow there, purple and yellow there, uh, purple and yellow on my shoulder on the other side. I must I must have bounced like a bloody bagatelle ball. I was clocking out. At two o'clock and I'm behind this lad and he stopped suddenly to let another lad go be before him. And rather than bump into him, all twenty stone of me, I sidestepped. Didn't look down and there's a bloody thing to stop the forklift from crunching into people. There's a metal barrier plus a concrete step six inch high. And I didn't get my leg high enough and I fell. And it sort of went <laughs> and bashed. Bash various parts of my body, my knee, my shin, my shoulder, my elbow, my elbow. <sighs> off the barrier and off this concrete thing. And I said to the supervisor, it's entirely my fault, I shouldn't have been walking quickly and too close to the lad in front. He was only being polite. So I was aching all off <laughs> on Thursday and Friday. I'm getting better now. Oh, it's gone all purple and yellow, like I said. Must have been a hell of a whack. Well, it was. I actually cried out in pain. I don't mean crying. <laughs> I cried on the supervisor's shoulder. Enough of this waffle. Yeah, on Tuesday, it gave me the opportunity of going to Blackburn. So I went back to that boy who I gave the 78s to to see if they put them up and to tell him about this. <laughs> It's called a shush boy, and I said, have you seen this? They're available on eBay, Laurel and Hardy saying, can you see that? Saying shush. I said, I've got a 3D picture, but you can get a canvas. Can you see, shush. And Laurel and Hardy started off in the 1920s, and that's the theme of the boy. And he just looked at me as I was mad. So, I think I'll buy. I was saying to me, mum, my mum came down. So, well, just because you have ideas doesn't mean people are... I said, I know, I know, but... You think they say thanks, but no thanks, we'll sort our own decorations out. Talking of which, I went to my mate Kevin's uh, record stall on Nelson Market. Because I was telling him, and he said, oh, I've got some more 78s, you can have them. With Accrington and... Blackburn sleeves. I said, oh, that's interesting. Because I still have uh, about eight or nine George Formbys. I said, well, I'll throw the plain ones away and put them in local sleeves and I'll keep these ones instead of keep giving stuff away. With my mad decorating ideas. So can you see that? Here's a railway Road, Blackburn. Blackburn Road, Accrington. All now with George Formby's in. And in fact, he said, You can help yourself to the 70s. I said, No, I don't really want any of the 78s. They're all weird stuff. There was even one of Big Ben's chimes. Quarter hour, bong bong, bong 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 bong. From the 1920s or 30s. Why would you want that on a record? That's in Cone. Another one in Cone. And that, 
because um, Beans on Toast kindly watches my videos. But uh, Beans, it's yours if you want it. The Beverly Sisters. I said, oh, a mate of mine who whose videos you watch each other's videos. He's a relative of the Beverly Sisters. Can I have that? I said, yeah, help yourself. He like it, she like it. Oh, oh yes. Oh, Mrs. Yes. Oh. Oh, that's actually steaming up. All for the want of a kiss. Yes. It says K. Is that Sir Danny K? Not Peter K. So, he like it, she like it. There was, I was looking online, the story, and it said they got lots of complaints saying that the songs were a bit risque, you know, because they started in wartime. That's Tammy by Debbie Reynolds. I like that song. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy's in love. Do 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 do. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy's in love. Anyway, enough of this. It's just a little. I said to someone, it's my curio corner. I've also sent for a. A couple of postcards. I've got two more coming. I'm going to call it a do after that. Not going to go too crazy. That's where the drummer's arms is. This little bar in Blackburn I go to in the 1920s. And that's Wally. I think I, inc yeah, I included that on one of my time travel videos. So I've got a couple more. They're only cheap. £1.25, £1.50. 50p post. So it just adds to the effect, doesn't it? <coughs> I was born too late. You know, not like to have been around in the 20s or 30s. Not wartime, because it all <laughs> went a bit rotten, didn't it? And then the late 50s and the 60s. X Factor, I was watching Julia Bradbury in uh, Greece before I set off to Aldean Morrison's. Ski Athos, what a lovely, lovely place. Will it make, oh, look at my rack. I just did all my washing yesterday. Saturday's two lots of washing. Sunday's get the bike out. Really, Saturday's fettling with the bike day as well. <laughs> I'm just going to start to clean it. Now I've got back from uh, the shops. Do you like them? Have you tried them? They're delicious. Lotus Biscoff. I remember Corn Barker saying he is addicted to them. So much so, he even got a paste to put on his toes. Get a paste version. Yeah, when I went to Kevin's. <laughs> Doesn't look like it, but I, I said, oh, if you can diet, I can. He's lost a lot of weight, looks very healthy. Oh, I see, it was getting ridiculous. He said, I couldn't fasten my jeans up. So I just stopped eating as much. I said, you've got it spot on there. People assume you have to jump about, start old jog to lose weight. Whereas the key thing is, just don't stuff your bloody face as much with crap. A few fatties and all that need to lose weight, but I'm afraid I'm... I've got a pot belly since Christmas. What's it do, Ginger? Use cat flap. You can stop out while it's nice. Yeah, so I've got some healthy drinks. Mango and passion fruit smoothie. Instead of coffee and biscuits. Although that's what that full, cre <laughs> full cream milk's for me, coffee. I must resist the temptation. Try and lose some weight. And you see that mouse trap not sprung, more fresh mouse crap. So it's not been caught after all this time. <sighs> Undrawn wax stick. They're better than raw ones. You know, them waxy things you rub under your armpits. I took one to work, trying to drop some hints as a few soap dodges at work. Cheap coffee. Do I sound sniffy? Well, I've got Corona. I've got Corona. I've got Corona. I've got four Coronas. 
Yeah, there's a special offer on Corona. I wonder if it's because of all bad publicity. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of doing, getting the bike out, look at the state of these crappy units and getting a new kitchen is out of the question, so there's a cheap old shop in Blackburn that I noticed when I was in the other week I went to ask about, they do metal poles and mine in the bath, in the shower the chrome poles are all going rusty and grotty Yes we got them chrome brass, I said oh well I'm going to have to come back in a taxi sometime and pick a couple up. And I noticed to do sticky back plastic and I did my wardrobe upstairs which was black, black and red, when I had a black and red thing going. And it come out very well. If you have a bubble you just get a, a Stanley knife and just dab it and then rub the bubble out. But just to make them look a bit more presentable, I know I should have washed them down, sorry. An American woman said, your kitchen's disgusting, it's gross. I know it is, you dizzy bitch. I know, a new kitchen, you're talking five grand, aren't you? Can't afford that. So just as a budge, I thought, yeah, sticky back plastic. One, two, three, four. I think seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten rolls, and it's pound a roll. Or even if it's a bit more, or get more if you get 15 rolls, depending. I presume it's about uh, two metre rolls. Hmm. So if the weather's right, I might nip down and get a dozen rolls to be going on with, if they have pine. Although this is a bit darker, isn't it? I'll see what the weather's going to do. I'll clean my bike first, that's the first, that'll be enough of this. Oh, as well as Corona, I got that. Sticky Toffee Pudding, 5% Eagle Brewery. What is that? Marston's. What's to do? Have you managed to use your cat flap? Stop moaning. Right, bye for now. I should have uh, refilled my bucket, but it's only a little rinse, just get all the main crap off. I'm not sure even if they're using salt, do, do they use salt these days, just some kind of salty solution, you never see that brown grit on the roads anymore do you? And they found a new solution, although maybe, like me, they've been monitoring the weather. Oh, we don't need to put tons of salt on the roads because it's not icy. Yeah, Julia Bradbury. Mm. In Greece. She said she was part Greece, that's why she went. She looks a bit Greek. She does that walking thing around the Lake District. Wearing tight jeans. Can't walk in tight jeans, Julie. You can get chafing. And it got me thinking about holidays, and I thought my birthday, middle of March, and it's on a Saturday. Should have a weekend away. So yesterday I was actually looking at London hotels. I thought, well, my 50th was in London. Should have a long weekend there. Uh, can't afford it, but. No, but then I came to my senses and I thought it'll only turn into a pub crawl. I was going to surprise that Beatles pal of mine who lives in London. I've got two Beatle buds. Kevin, who I got those. 78 from. And Alan, who lives in swinging London. He actually is a film director. He directed a few films. The Beatles one, all about the Sgt. Pepper album, it was 50 years ago today. And some punk ones and a status quo one, Hello Quo. <coughs> and he said he goes in a pub called The Spice of Life, that have live bands on. And I said to Kevin, you come down as well, we'll surprise him. 
Kevin said, oh, my wife won't be pleased if I book a weekend away. I said, never mind your wife. It'll be a lad's weekend. Get drunk. Go for a curry. Watch a few bands. But then I thought, no. I spent, did I tell you, 700 quid when I was 50 in London, including the hotel and train, but that's why I was in debt. Well, I still am in debt, but I mean, that's why it went a bit mental. Steaming up again. It's not that cold now. Though. Plus, is London safe these days? You never know if they're going to. You know what they did? Strapped knives with tape to the hand so they couldn't be disarmed and went around stabbing people. There were about six people stabbed to death. A little bird. That's despite the ring of steel coppers with machine guns. Actually, they stabbed one of them to death as well, didn't they? You think the first reaction would be pull your bloody tears right and zap. Not try and reason with the morons. That's the uh, brake pedal rubber do for I put on. You know, I think we should all have them. You should have little tiny levers. You extended it with a bolt and glued on the rubber from a ratchet handle. It feels a lot more positive when I'm activating the, br the rear brake. <sighs> right, well, I'll get the back. Uh, what oh, this microphone is not hissing. I can feel my chin dislodging the bloody microphone position, and every time I put my helmet on and take it off. <sighs> yeah, should I put some of that on? And when I get back, I normally spray ACF on the four legs and rub it with that uh, emery cloth, whatever you call it. That what's it called? That stuff, something cloth, that scouring pad. What? what are you crying for? What? And you bored? You bored, aren't you, Blackie? Play with ginger. It's not cold. Have a little run around. I know this backyard's tiny, but you can still explore, can't you? Hmm? <laughs> I'll just give them that cheap chicken I got from uh, Morrison's. Yeah. It's not proper chicken, is it? You can tell. Uh. <laughs> yes, it's a Brexit boy. The Wellington named after the Duke of Wellington. Ooh, mm, make sure to clean my visor. So, will they have a sticky back plastic in pine? Will they have a dozen rolls? We shall see. If they went to B&Q and got the same, probably would be five pound a roll, but that cheap horse shop, I bet it's... I bet it is a pound a roll, in flat. So, as it's a temporary budget, I didn't want to spend lots of money. I know you can actually buy new drawer fronts, can you, but... The actual shelving inside is knackered as well. As I said before, it was second hand when my grandmother had it installed in the 80s, I think. Uh, 
my uncle uh, Solomon Mum's brother installed it after his neighbour got a new kitchen Do you want a kitchen Mum? My neighbour's having a new one put in instead of throwing his old one away I could install it in your kitchen So expensive, aren't you? Just for a free bloody unit. So is it the granite tops that cost all the money? A tiny little kitchen all at once. A sink unit and a wall unit. And he only had three rolls in. One roll in uh, sort of medium wood and some very, very pale wood. He had three rolls of that. And if B&M bargains have uh, that type of stuff. I've seen it before in other pound shops. Only a pound a roll, as I suspected. I'll get more in next week, I thought. Yeah, well, that's what they all say. He said, my number on receipt, I said, yeah, I'll give you a ring sometime. Yeah, I'll have a look at b and bargains. Yeah, it's in the K. Elvitt, you silly old sod. Why don't they use it? Why? Why don't people use indicators? Why? It should be automatic. I don't mean automatic indicators, I mean it should be automatic. If you're going to turn, switch your buggers on. Not they're not bothering, are they? I'm going to miss some lights. Yes. <laughs> so there's Philip Yule's Crime Centre, close to the motorway junction. And very many Rocket 3's he sold this week. Should I ask about a uh, test ride? Wonder if my spindly legs will support all that weight at the junction. Yes, I've got my new Dot Martin boots on, can you see? I've been at Wardrobe for years, about five years ago. Someone was selling new old stock made in England, not the bloody Chinese ones. £55 a pair. Size 14, and they had three pairs, so I bought all three. And uh, stashed them all away. And I just got this, the second pair out. I've got another pair upstairs still. Three worlds, so they don't sell them here. But the hell, Ian's there, in with that uh, Hayabusa. And five other bikes. Ian Barrett. I saw him a couple of times at Rivington. Why isn't it on his back? Is he working on a Sunday? Adam <coughs> Yeah, I told my mate Clive at work about uh, that gate there, right on the canal. I said buy a bicycle. And you can pedal back to wrist. <laughs> I was going to drop him at uh, Halford last week. I gave him a lift on Friday, but I did a detour to uh, Morrison's in Blackburn. 
19. It used to be entry, what's the idea? Making it one way. Um, have, um, see, he's just, he just turned around, that. Since when has it been no entry? Charge. That's all that cobbler's on about. I watch a few videos about people being confronted with parking and clamps. I'm amazed no one gets just a smack it nose. <laughs> Thump them, pinch the bloody machines that keep a record of your number, and chuck the machines in the nearest canal, i.e over there. Right, I'll go and see what they have in B&M. The microphone picking them electric cables up. Uh, well. 149 for catnip, big bag. <laughs> Keep me muggies happy. There's another cat, a little tomcat, been coming in my backyard. I shouldn't encourage it really. Scuffing all the biscuits which I put out for my cats and that little girl stray. But he's been bloody peeing everywhere, hasn't he? Little sod. No luck with any sticky back plastic. They had glitter on a roll for eight pound glitter. Hmm. <laughs> I can guess what they sold as well. For two ninety nine, them disco bulbs. Dozens and dozens of them. So it's not just for Christmas. I've got something, I was looking on eBay for ages. When I moved into that house, I put all my Beatles stuff. I thought I'd wrapped it up carefully. Put all my Beatles stuff in suitcases and wheeled it round to my grandma's house. And when I unpacked it, I don't know what had happened, but two of my Beatles collectibles had brought to that little Franklin Mint Beatles figures, set of six, and I think two of Brock, and on a shelf just then. Have you ever tried to get a replacement glass dome? You have to send to bloody China, why? And they had two in there on the teapot, <laughs> a little LED house. I don't know if it was Christmas stock, and I thought they look exactly the right size. It's worth a gamble, so I bought them. And I just thought, was it? They only had two, and I thought, have I brought three of them? I'll have a look when I get home. Even if they're slightly the wrong size, it doesn't matter, does it? Because currently, the set of six isn't worth a lot with two broken glass domes, but we're replacing two of them. Potentially, it could be worth 200 or so. The price varies enormously though, because when I had my stall, I took them to Liverpool. And that's when I lived at my mum's, so they weren't broken then, and nobody bought them. And I got a set of Royal Dalton Beatles Toby jugs from 1984. And I went round the stalls, one stall had them on for 950, 950, another stall for 450. <laughs> so that's what I mean, it does vary enormously. Think of a number when you're selling Beatles stuff. Yeah, there's no entry. Let's get home. After around enough. So Three cheap rolls, pound, potentially going to get some more. Are these electrics interfering with my vocals? I'll shut up a minute. Oh, look at the size of Q.
I used to work with a bloke at Ultra Frame in Clitheroe. Him and his brother both got them. They weren't twins, but uh, when we got all them shares, I saved mine for my house, and they bought, well, lots of the workers bought fancy little cars, but because he was a smoker, there was a hole in the back of the screen. I said, I think you've been vandalised, mate. No, it were me, I was smoking a fag. That wind blew end off and it landed and stuck on my screen and before I could knock it off, it had melted an hole in it. <laughs> when I went down this grotty road last week, I want to see what the alternative road's like because I know there is one. This one. Sussex Road. Because that chap wanted me to film round the reservoir. And I thought I could always park up in a side street, couldn't I? On a hot summer's day and just have a look round. Or even, if I'm off work for a week in July, just have a stroll over. Like I said, pity there's no pubs nearby. Yeah, look, park up here. And that's the uh, other entrance. I remember going years ago. So I could park here, like I said. Well, it's not restricted parking. So I'll let you know if we get any nice days. I think I'm quite reasonable. I'm open to offers or requests. Yeah. I think a Chinese is open. I could do that head of Chinese. That's meant to be healthy. Do you see many Chinese fatties? <laughs> Chinese are uh, free. No, it won't be open. See why don't they open like I keep saying? Perhaps I should just starve, have rest of my fruit juice smoothie and forget about eating. Michael Jackson used to have fasting days, he insisted it cleansed him. But, uh, look what happened to him, although he was another drug victim, weren't he? You weren't exactly a healthy lad, despite being thin as a rake. What do you think? Is thin healthy? Or are, do you feel healthy with being a fatty? Answers on a postcard. I was thinking I'll see if those little jars fit. They look a bit big thinking about it now, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, that one's open, good. Oh no, are they glued on? See if I can ease him out. So three rolls. See with them on, look a lot better, I think. Not quite the right size, but better than uh, what they are at the moment, certainly. Doesn't match that pine, does it? I've actually sponged on some. Uh, Antique pine, what do you call it? Wood stain. And it was looking a bit grotty and tired. Not like I said, anything's better than what it is now. Mm. 
Now then, if you're wondering what on earth I'm on about, just to <laughs> set your minds at rest, I'm not gone mad. Hey, these are them doors, Eddie, can you see, can you see? That's what my kitchen units are meant to be like. They're black, well, they were black. No, they're wood grain effect. And Laura Bean from the bloody pound shop, they were two different sorts. I've shared, I think one was orc and one was meant to be antique pine. Yeah, them Beatles things, Franklin Mint in the 90s, and I broke two of them, I think. Let's have a look. That's alright, that's alright. Everything's full of dust. It's talcum powder. And I'll put the other one in that dish in the bathroom. That's the other broken one. Oh, good sort. It's two I broke. Well, not good, you know, but... Uh, sunny side. I actually put some wrap brand Wonder like that, and of course the slightest bit of vibrational clang. If you're going to transport these, wrap them separate because they're fragile uh, resin figures with little fragile hands. When I got them, I had to send two back because he had the hands snapped off already. So they're only. Is the diameter correct? It looks like it. But even if it's just slightly too big, I'm not going to risk snapping the hands off. If they can come off, I'll sort of, like I said, I'm soaking the other in water. See if it loosens that crappy glue. Ideally, it should be warm water, shouldn't it? But I'm not going to attempt to force it. So I'll leave it in water for ages and then see. But like I said, with no dome on it or a broken dome, they're virtually worthless as a set. But with replacing them with them, even though they're slightly bigger, by about 5, 10 mil. If anyone asks, why is that one bigger? Oh, well, it's, um, um, um <laughs> I'll make an excuse, won't I? So, let's hope the glue softens. I don't know, imagine breaking them. I wasn't very pleased. Should I test my new scented candle? Ah, there are no matches up here, I thought I had. How do you light all these then? Silly sad. I'll leave it there anyway. Domes. Do you know anyone that sells domes? If I, I can't get that glue off. Try and force it, it's just going to crack the buggers, isn't it? Like I said, the other one is soaking in a dish on the bathroom shelf. Not water tight, is it? No, I'm not, not going to risk damaging it. I'll leave it like that for a week. And if I should squirt some kind of solvent on it, would that soften the glue? And what kind of glue is it? Weird kind of resin, I imagine it's a cheap type of glue. So, I'll see how it goes. <coughs> Let me have a sit down, put the telly on. Have a nice rest. What's this? Vintage vehicles. 
Bangers and Cash. Oh, the club run about that. You watch Bangers and Cash? I said, never heard of it. British car renovators. I said, no, no. Bangers and Cash. We're in desperate need of a motorbike show on TV, aren't we? Oh, I just remembered on a final note that centre light I got for my bike shelter from Aldi I put to better use here if you get up in the middle at night <laughs> it slightly illuminates the landing it's obscured by that branch of my plastic tree and it worked fine before so uh, handy little things aren't they that's my guest bedroom if anyone wants to get up in the middle of the night for a piddle <coughs> and not put the big light on it's a sensor light <sighs> and on that note I will say thank you for watching and goodbye